Hi, I'm back after a long time of depriving you from videos. As always, and you know the introduction, my name is Zany Wright. And no, I did not have a haircut. I prefer to call it hair reduction surgery. It went really well. My mother did it for me. And speaking of my mother, I would like to talk to you about my family. I love my family. I really do. But there are just some times that they really drive me crazy. You see, my brother's an ass, my mom's a nut, I'm a boob, and my dad's a dick. Can you sense a theme here? But seriously, my father, I don't really call him my mom and dad. I like to call them my mother and father. My father and I are quite a lot alike. And that actually kind of bugs me. We're both a couple of boobs and dicks, lying around being assholes about people. I'm a dick! You brought it on yourself when you walked through that door. I'm a dick! I'm mighty feisty there. When it comes to your mom and I say, but I don't want to be like my father. My father, up to this day, I still don't know why he did this. But he showed me how lazy he really is. He isn't lazy right now. He's more like crampy and achy. But he was way back in the day. It was long ago, back when I was a little boy. And you're thinking, how little? I was a little boy when I wanted to play a game. Nobody could play because it was Sunday. God had confined people to their own homes. And the only person who could play a game with me was my daddy. So I grabbed the game, the game of life it was, and I raced down the stairs into the living room. I turned the corner and there was my dad, sitting on the couch while typing something on his laptop. Dad, you want to play a game with me? He just sat there looking at the screen and said, No, I'm too tired. Sorry, bud. I walked back upstairs to put the game away, with my head hung down. I went back downstairs to go sit with my father. I looked at the screen, and you know what I saw? He was playing a game. What? He was playing a game right before my eyes, and he says he's too tired to play a game with me? That's messed up right there. But at times, he's not all bad. One night, my father came home hammered. Now, my father likes to drink, but not that much. I like to hang around my parents and our friends when they start to drink. But that night, my father was like three times as drunk as those nights. Anywho, my parents went to a party next door on that night. At this party, they had a lot of beers and wine. My father likes to drink Jack and Coke. Two shots of Jack Daniels and one can of Diet Coke with lime. One or two drinks on the weekends. He left with a full bottle of Jack this size. This exact bottle. When he came home, it was fucking empty. Wait, wait. Uh. Ah, ha, ha, gotcha. And he only left with one can of Coke. He also likes Corona-like. And they supplied that too at the party. If he were to bring home all the empty corona light bottles that he drank out of... He probably would have needed a grocery bag. Double bagged. One of my friends is, like, very religious, and I like being friends with religious people. You see, I'm an atheist, and being friends with other atheists is not always a good thing. Sometimes a bad influence. So I like to be friends with a few Mormons. Once I get past your extreme happiness. When I hear your religious stories... I just giggle. <laughs> Burning bush. My father likes to question and bash religion. And that night he came home, he was going, God! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't care! Good times. But me and my father have some great times together, though. Eventually we play games together talked, joked around, and did some outdoor activities. One day, me and my father went hiking. At times, it was more rock climbing than hiking, but we hiked. 
We did it only because our geocaching friend had to find the treasure at the top. Nearly broke my ass coming down that thing all for a case of Spongebob shit. So after the day was done, we were walking to the car from the mountain. And I turn around to my mother and I see her slapping herself with an empty bottle. This isn't a water bottle, but... Are you okay, Mom? What are you doing? She said there was a bee in her face, but I didn't believe it because if there was, I would have been at the car before anyone knew it. But she said that she forgot she had the water bottle in her hand. Sure. Dad, there's something wrong with Mom. Man, my mother would do some of the most questioning things. Near the end of winter now, time to switch your meals from hot to somewhat warm. And during winter, my mom would bug the shit out of me. Like when the winter starts to get cold, she would put warm foods on the grocery list. You know, like soup. But that's not what bugs me. Every week, like once a week, there would be this one soup. And if you go back to my vacation time video, you hear me talking about eating the same meals every day the whole week. But this is different. But this soup, it's not bad. But after a few weeks, I start to lose interest. But those meals, I'll never get over. Those are good. But this soup, it's called Italian style wedding soup. To me, it was kind of weird because I didn't see anyone getting married anywhere. Probably my mom in the soup. But that wouldn't work. There was spinach, mini meatballs, chicken broth, and these little tiny bean thingies. It's good, but I have a limit. Stop buying it, mother! Now, I love my mother, but there are times when she can be too protective. Not over the top like she follows me everywhere I go to make sure I'm okay. No, she just gets worried easily. Now, everyone has a mom like that. But when she tells you to be careful, it's like she has a fucking script or something. It's the same thing every time. I can recite my mother's be careful every morning speech. I want you to be careful today, okay? Drive safely. It's going to be hard to see. It's dark outside. And watch for other drivers. They're stupid people. And when you get to school, call me so I know you made it, okay? Don't forget to eat your breakfast and take your pills. I'm going to be at work, so when you need me, call me. Okay, I'm off to work. Are you up? And during winter, it's much worse. It's snowing out there. The roads are icy. There's construction. There was an accident. Drive slowly. There's going to be a storm. Are you up? And I'm worried about the drive back. Makes me scared about what's going to happen when I move out. I swear my parents are trying to fuck with me. They have difficulty remembering, but I don't believe them. Like this one time, we were living at our geocaching friend's house, and I let one of their dogs inside from doing his duty, and then my mother and I started petting him. Robbie was his name, and he was an active little shih tzu. As we were petting him, my mom stops to say, Look! He's got dingleberries. What are those, Mom? Well, look, he's got poop stuck onto his fur around his bum hole. A couple hours later, I let their other dog in, Jack. I let him in, and then I start to play with him. Look, Mom, he has dingleberries, too. They all just looked at me like I was just making up shit. <laughs> what? What's a dingleberry? Are you kidding me? You just said... You were sitting right there, and you said dingleberry. Don't lie to me, woman! You said dingleberry! And that's why I think my mom's a nut. She's losing it. Oh, and don't forget... Ah, oh, fuck it. Procrastination has gotten the best of me. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow.